Welcome to Microchip's Product Advisor Tool training video. This video will guide you through how to use the Product Advisor Tool correctly and effectively to determine the most optimal product for your end applications. We will begin from the Microchip Technology homepage. From the homepage, you will find a Find Product button. Clicking on the Find Product button will take you to Microchip's Selection Tool page. On the Selections Tool page, scroll down to find the Product Advisor Tool beneath the analog and interface product presentation and above the LDO selector guide. Clicking on the product advisor tool will take you directly to the product advisor webpage. From the product advisor webpage, you can select which category or product you'd like to select. Today, we will look through the DC to DC converter and switching regulator product category as an example. Clicking on the DC to DC converter and switching regulator button will direct you to the interactive product advisor tool. The tool will greet you with an informational layout of the Product Advisor tool. From the informational layout, we can see that the Product Advisor tool is separated into four different sections. Applications and graphs, filters, graph slash interactive design space, and recommendations. You can click on any of the pulsating icons to learn more about the corresponding functionality of the Product Advisor tool. You can click on any empty space to proceed to use this tool. Starting from the top of the tool, you are given the option to select the application type and application graph type. The application type options are portable and general. The application graph options are quiescent current versus maximum input voltage and maximum output current versus area. The application graph option determines what kind of graph will be displayed in the interactive design space. The most important interface of the Product Advisor tool is the Graph Filter section. You can set the parametric upper and lower limits using the filter, as well as specifying different types of available product options, such as number of outputs, package type, and output type. We will show you an example. We will select a portable application type in the quiescent current for this maximum input voltage application graph. We'll set our input voltage from 5 to 15 volts, our output voltage from 1 to 6 volts, and our output current from 0.3 to 1 amp. As we can see, multiple products have populated the interactive design space. As we saw in the example, the interactive design space will automatically refresh to display products that correspond to the newly set filters. Within the space, if you find it difficult to clearly distinguish between the different product points, you can zoom in, zoom out, or reset zoom using these three buttons located in the top right corner of the graph. We can select any product point on the design space that corresponds to the product type that we need. Selecting a product point on the graph will populate the recommended products box to the right of the design space. The product box will display the product page link, the data sheet link, and select the parametric data for the product that is closest to the point selected in the design space, as well as two alternative parts that could potentially serve as a replacement for the selected product. We will show one more example using the LDO product family. We will select portable application and package versus JC temperature for the application graph. We'll set our input voltage from 2 to 10 volts, our output voltage from 0.8 volts to 6 volts, and our output current from 0.15 amps to 0.3 amps. The design space will behave identically between all the different product categories. Just like with switching regulators, as you select different points, the recommended products box also repopulates. This concludes the Product Advisor Tool training video. We hope that this video was informative and that this tool will be useful in identifying the optimal part for your applications. Thank you for your time.